Hello everyone, welcome back to Dry Real Logic. So today I'm back to show you a shortcut of squaring a number with the help of diagonal method. So what is diagonal method? Let's start and check it out, okay? So today I'm going to square 39. So many videos I've done on squaring, okay? So here is one more, you can check it out, okay? So see two digits are there. So always remember two digits mean I will make a box of four chambers. If it is three digits, three into three, that is nine chambers, okay? So four chambers in this way. I write three here, nine here, three here, nine here. And diagonally, I will make a box in this way. And then I'm going to solve. See, three into three. So cross, cross, this three and this three, this one, this one. Three into three is nine. I'm going to write down in this way. Three into three, nine is 27. Nine into three is 27. Nine into nine is 81. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a crossway, this corner way. So here one, always remember, I need to take only single digits. So eight plus seven plus seven is 22. So only, so answer line, let, let me make one answer line. So this single one come here, comes here. So this one, two, two, two digits are there. So two will come here and the extra two will be added to the next line. So next line you add nine plus two plus two, your answer is nine, two, two answer is 13. And this two, will be carried forward here, so it will be 15. This five will be taken as the answer and one will be carried forward here. But here it is only zero, so zero plus one is one and here comes. Therefore, 39 square is equals to one, five, two, one. And it's very easy to do, right? I'm going to show you one more sum with three digits. So let's start with that. And it's very easy way to do, isn't it? So let me take one more number. And that is 527 square, big number. 527 square. How to do? Three digits are there. So I will make a big box. Because I need how many chambers? Total nine chambers. Here, then you can make cross this way. Be careful while doing the diagonals, okay? If you're using your copy, use your scale and pencil. Don't do freehand drawing like me. So you can make your walk dirty. So here I will write down five, two, seven. And here it is five, two, seven. Process remains same. Just you need to remember the way of writing. So five into five, 25. If it is single digit, always put zero, one, zero, two in this way, okay? Five into two is 10. Five into seven is 35. Two into five, 10. Two into two, four. Single digit, you write down zero, four. Two into seven, one, four, 14. Seven into five, 35. Seven into two. 2, 14, 7 into 7, 49, and just add it fast. So make an answer line. Make one answer line. So single digit, write it here. 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. Single digit, you take it here, and this one will be carried forward. So first you add it, 5 plus 1 plus 4 plus one plus five will be equals to 16. 16, and this one will be carried here, so it will be 17. So this seven will be here, one will be carried forward. Three plus three is six, and this one it is seven, single digit. Here is the answer, five, six, seven. No carry, so seven directly will come here, and two, two here. Big answer, right? So five to seven square is equals to two 
seven 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 two nine. So this way you can square any number, and it's very easy. Suppose it is four digit, that then you have to take four into four sixteen box. That will not give in your exam. I don't think so. Four digits number, but then also you can, if you understand the concept, you can always think bigger, right? So that's all for today. If you like my video. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe my channel. Ta-da!